Welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy 2. I'm getting pretty close to the end of World 3 here. I wonder if I can finish it in this video. Maybe. We'll see. Depending on prankster common appearances. I had to go back to World 2 to fly with Fluzzard again. Let's see, yeah, World 3. Now what's left? Before the boss, I think... I gotta play this. Rolling Masterpiece Galaxy. And let me tell you, I love the ball rolling galaxies. I just think they're a lot of fun. Some people find them frustrating, but I, I enjoy them. I like the whole balance act. And they were featured in Mario Galaxy 1, but they do make a return here, obviously, in Galaxy 2. Only they're much tougher. These ball challenges are really, really tough. They're for the hardcore sort of players, like me. Actually, I'm more of a... I'm not a hardcore gamer, I wouldn't say, but I'm not casual either. I'm just a... Maybe I'm more of a frequent gamer. Blah, blah, blah. I don't need a tutorial. I know how to do this already. I hopped on the ball. Now I gotta hold the Wii Remote vertically and just use a balance act. It's simple. Blah, 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 blah. I know how to do it. Blah, blah, blah. That's, a, that's right enough chatter. Just leave me alone. This thing looks like a big tennis ball with pins coming out of it, or paintbrushes, or something. Let's see, I want to stay in the green area. The green area has the key, I think, but it also has a one-up. That's where I stomp some Goombas with the ball. Just gotta remember where all this crap is. There's the key. Now how do I get to it? Okay, now I gotta go find the red. Uh, it's right in front of me, but I, it's barred off by paintbrushes. This is, you know, there's, for some reason, I'm just noticing how much this game reminds me of the original Rayman for PlayStation. Like, it, the Cosmic Clones remind me of something that you saw in Rayman, as well as the Cloudy Quark Galaxy. It sort of loosely reminded me of uh, Bandland, and this reminds me of that Artland or something. I forgot what it's called. I forgot the name of the world of Rayman, but... It looks all artsy here with the paintbrushes and stuff, so I'm reminded of that. I don't want to roll too far. There have been times I've fallen off there because I rolled too hard, and then the blocks appeared, um, or the platform appeared. I, um, I still have momentum going. It was tragic. Oh, I appeared down here. I don't care about getting that thing, but I do want the continental. Uh, that was crazy. It's like, get me out of here. Just boingity, 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 boing. I don't care how many Goombas I hit. I don't care how many Goombas die at my feet. Or my ball. Whoa. just want to get out of here. Like, just keep rolling, just keep rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. I think of American Tale, Five Goes West. I go, rolling, rolling, rolling. That's such an old movie. That was a movie that came out when I was probably in kindergarten. I think 91. Of course, the first Ameri in American Tale movie came out when the year I was born, 1986. Shows you said much of an old fogey I am, and come on, just die already, chomp! Ugh. Ugh. He's in an awkward corner. There, finally. When the prankster comment appears, I believe this challenge will be timed. So then I gotta beat him quick. And let me tell you, I don't think it gives you a lot of time. There's no time for mistakes. Not only that, I believe it's even more difficult. The stage layout, at least. Uh, speaking from memory. Memories of childhood. Speaking of childhood, I had an awesome childhood, I thought. And I remember the first Mario game I ever played was, I think, Super Mario Bros. 2 for the NES. Technically, it's not a Mario game. Technically, it's Doki Doki Panic, I know. But my first memory of playing a game was that. I was two, I think, and I think I was playing as Princess Peach, and I was jumping and running around and failing epically. And people were laughing at me. Prankster comment. Seems like I was at a relative's house, like aunt, aunt, uncle, or cousin house, something like that. A letter just to the Lumas arrived. Uh, it's from Rosalina. Who'd have guessed it? At least I think it's from Rosalina. Razalina. Rosalina. I think it's pronounced Rosalina. I'm not very good at pronunciations. Well, I guess I'll go back and do that prankster comment. Which, I think that appeared in World 1. In the boss stage. Yep. I'm coming, prankster comment. 
Uh, I'm gonna get star bits because I'm greedy like that. I'm mostly D about stuff normally. No, well, not everything, but some things I'm mostly D about. I collect everything. I don't have to get every single coin or every single star bit in the game, but I do want to get every single star because this is a 100% run. Fiery Flotilla speed run. All right, I think I battle Gobblegut again. This time it's timed though. I think this one gives me some trouble, because this boss tends to hit me a lot, and I I really struggle with the pattern. Anyway, I, I don't know why. Some people get through this boss no problem, but I personally just seem to struggle with it. But I'm going to try a new technique. It took me a while to beat him the first time. So he just kept trying to hit me. Gave me the runaround. But I'm going to try something else. I'm gonna employ a little bit of strategy. Some strategery. I'm not gonna hit the first one. I will hit the second. Then I'll hit that one. And then I'll hit this one. Okay. I'm hitting every other one. Let's see if this works to my advantage. I don't know if it will or not. But we will find out. If this doesn't work, I'm going to be mad. And I don't have the health bonus that I had last time to help me out. Seems like I got hit two or three times last time. But thankfully I had the health bonus, so it really aided me. Okay, um... That's not gonna work. Well, I can hit this... Well, I missed the first one. Ah, uh, this is not working to my advantage like I thought. Ow. Owie. Owie, 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 owie. Okay, just one more to go and maybe I can do that. Okay. I need you to dive. Dive, 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 dive. Okay, I guess that did work to my advantage a little bit. But like I said, he hits me very easily. I am so thankful that there is no daredevil challenge for this boss. I'm glad it's just timed. In fact, I wasn't even paying attention to the time, so I don't even know how much time I had left. I guess I could have been bad. I may have felt more pressured if I watched the time. I have to go back and review this, because I didn't even look at it. <laughs> could have been just one second left for all I know, but hey, I won. Like, I don't care. I want to get it, get the star, and get it over with. In and out. Okay, looks like I'm going back to the ball galaxy. Really masterpiece, I should say. And you will get to see in this episode just how difficult it becomes. All right, well, that works for me. It is significantly harder. Hang on, let me check something real quick before I... Okay, I had to make sure my audio was recording because there have been times where I've failed to uh, hit record on Audacity. And then I was like, oh crap. I had to start over. That with the hidden switch commentary, to be honest. So don't tell nobody. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, guys. No. <laughs> we gotta do it again. But they were nice about it. They said, alright, no problem. We're cool. Masterpiece speed run. Alright. Let's do it. Another time challenge. Another speed run. On the ball. With the more difficult course. See? Look at those. Ba bombs. Oh my gosh. You expect me to beat this? Ugh. It's asking too much, game. I'm not sure I can do it. I'm a little scared. I'm so nervous. Whee! This makes me want to play Rayman, but it also makes me want to play tennis and golf. Now this is deceiving because the uh, key is not in the green area like it was before. I remember the first time I played this game, I thought, oh. How mean of you, game, tricking me like that, making me think you were going to put it in the same spot, but no. So I ran out of time and I died. It's like, unfortunately, when you run out of time, you die. Which makes me think, like, does Mario die of shame or something? How does the time limit kill him? I don't even know. Even in those traditional 2D games, when you have a time limit, it's like, why do you die when time runs out? Who made that rule? Is there a bomb that's set to go off or something, or is it just like a pride issue or something? I don't even know. Do these characters die of shame because they took too long to beat a course? 
Who knows? I wouldn't put it past Mario, I guess. Alright. Let's uh, take on the bombs. I don't care about that question thing. Screw you. Ah. Ah. I'm so nervous. I'm so scared. Go away, Bob. He still exploded on me. Did you see that? It's like, I'm still getting a fart off before you leave. Okay, I gotta beat this chump in like 30 seconds. <laughs> Please don't get in the awkward corner again. Did you? Yeah, you did. You did. Uh, oh my gosh, please. Please just... Uh, yeah! I'm so scared! Ah, I almost died. Uh, 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 oh. Sometimes it's appropriate for a Hank Hill scream. Man, that was close! Okay, I gotta... I gotta swallow my heart now. It just sort of jumped out of me. Like jumped out of my chest or jumped out of my throat or whatever the expression is. Oh my gosh, that was scary. Oh. oh, okay. I'm gonna. I need to vacation, I swear. Need to stop making let's plays. This is stressing me out too much. Alright, well, it looks like I'm not gonna finish World 3 in this episode. But I should be able to next time. I didn't see a prankster coming up here. So, tune in next time as I finish off World 3, and I should also have a guest commentator, because next time is Part 20, which is a fifth episode. Alright, so I'll see you then, guys. Bye!